Oh, fellow YouTubers, I have just recently made this. Now, this video isn't about making that. Uh, I wouldn't like to say I'm expert in any of that. But what I would like to be able to do is engrave the bottom of this with my laser packer. The reach and height, obviously, as you can just see from that, isn't very great. You know, if you're trying to engrave that, it might just about do. But, if you're doing something a bit more meaty, then you're gonna struggle. So, what this video is about is me attempting to make a very simple, uh, extended toilet uh, stand so that I can do a bigger bowl if I wanted to. Um, even the bed laser that I've uh, got, yes, you can raise it up, but my God, with that bowl, you'd have to raise it up a long, long way. So with the laser packer, small area, I think that's probably the way to go. So this is the journey, attempt, whatever you like of me having a go at something like this. I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible because I don't want to spend too much time at it um, because it's probably not something I'm going to use too often, but it needs to still work. So here we go. Right, this is just a very rough mock-up. I've cut all the bits. As you can see, there's nothing particularly fancy. I've put an angle on that, but this is all just from my wood pile. Um, you know, you've got a, a base, and I'm going to I'll that sort of centralize, well, not centralize it, position it so that there is some kind of a an area around at least three sides, maybe even, uh, so I can put clamps on it because the laser pecker is actually quite heavy. Um, so, and then this is going to be an arm which will have that on the back, which will get the right way around, always helps, so that that will move up and down there, but this, can you see it, there we go, it's a bit better, that will be just to stop everything from tipping. So I'm going to put some holes in and I'm going to let, I'll bring you back when We've got a bit more uh, assembled and sorted out. I did actually uh, just square that off at the bottom with a chisel, but didn't think you really needed to watch that. And there we go. What I think I might also do is put an extra hole in here. Um, don't suppose there's going to be a great deal of. Uh, strain or such on it but all the same I think I'd rather just be better safe than sorry. We have some bolts.
Jubbly, jubbly. Right, that's better. Now we've got another pair of hands. Right, so that's going to sit against. That's going to sit against that face just so it stays square and also stops it with the weight that's going to be here, stops it tipping. Right, now I'm, I'm sure every, a lot of people have seen these. These are a, a wood screw one end and M6 thread on the other end. <laughs> I bought them and I've never got around to using them, so now I think would be a very good time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw that into there so that then the plate on the laser packer can sit against here and just be locked up. So we'll do that next and um, I think we're almost finished. So see you in a minute. Should work. Well, he's not going to move anywhere. So, right. I suppose the moment of truth is let's get the laser packer out and uh, mount it up and see what happens. Right. Whether you can see that or not, there the uh, bolt needs shortening definitely. So for, to start with, anyway. Was always the the thing that I ex expected, and I did say this earlier in the video. So that's why I've got the overlap here, so that on the bench I can actually just put a couple of clamps or clamp whichever. What I've done is actually got that the two samples that I was still uh, examples that I was talking about earlier. So now that will go. Oops. If you just need to adjust it, you just move the part. Right, okay, let's try the big one. There are lots of things that probably could be improved, but for a quick and easy stand just to 
mount this so that you can engrave a I think it's four inch square area um, then I think that will probably do what I'm after uh, hopefully you will have enjoyed and <laughs> maybe stuck with it but uh, yeah so hopefully I'll see you on the next one